Hi everyone, it's Debra. Welcome to my channel where I talk about anything and everything. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my oldest daughter, my only daughter. It's uh, She's 49. Uh, she will be getting out of the uh, big house uh, in a couple weeks, uh, the latest, the 29th of May, which means she'll be out of there for Memorial Day. Now then she, she tells me she's going to go to a halfway house. Now I don't know anything about the halfway house. And she said she's going to be on probation for five years. That's an awfully long time. Maybe she's wrong about that. I don't know. But she's in a much better mood. She's worried about buying me a Mother's Day gift. And she gave me uh, the best gift last year, which was some cleaning products, which is, you, you'll see it on Facebook and TikTok, the ones that have different smells. That was a really nice gift. I'm still using them from last year. I told her not to worry about that. My God, she's very thoughtful. <sighs> and she's, um, what is it called? When Memorabilia. She, she is very uh, careful about keeping things that have meaning word for that. She's quite unlike her brother who <clears throat> gives away everything and doesn't really care about anything that's thoughtful or meaningful. Um, she, my daughter still has her favorite toys when she was two years old. Oh my god. So one of my subscribers said something that really kind of hurt my feelings, but my daughter said, Mom, pay no attention to that. Whoever said that about you or me is probably very unhappy with their own life because they, they were saying that her being incarcerated is a direct reflection of how she was raised. And my daughter said, No, Mom, that is not true. My daughter said she has lived a wonderful life. She has done things that nobody else in my family, and believe me, I have a very big family, like a thousand relatives. She has lived uh, and, and gone places uh, that other people dream about. She actually took two dachshunds, put them on the back of a donkey, and walked up a huge mountain in Costa Rica and lived there for almost a year. I mean, how many other people can say that they have done that. Um, she has made a lot of money in her life. She has never had children and she's never been married and that's the way I raised her. I raised my son to be very domesticated. He does laundry and dishes better than any woman I've ever known. That's the way I raised him because I had a feeling that he would be involved with women who were not not. <coughs> so <coughs> domesticated, right? Excuse my coughing. And I do have my tissues. Oh my God. So, uh, my daughter is not sorry or uh, for anything. Um, I think if, if it was to be done all over again, she'd probably do the same thing again because she is one of these people where if you give her a promise and you break it, you're going to hear from her. She's very streetwise. But she also says, Mom, you raised two very highly. She didn't just didn't say intelligent. She said highly intelligent children. And that's the problem with my children. They are very smart. Very streetwise. Because while they were growing up, I would let her know what the real world was like. Because my parents never told me things that I should have been told about what is the real world like. I, I didn't want my children to have any surprises. But she said, Mom, you did the best job that you could. And I had to raise my children by myself because my their dad was not involved in their life for 13 years. He had never had a day off. This was the early 70s. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I blocked that person, and she says, Mom, pay no attention to people like that because uh, my children are as different as night and day, and a lot of 
people I've talked to, their children are just as different as night and day. Just like one of my sisters, the one that passed, she was nothing like me. Nothing like me. So, um, yeah, so she's in a much better mood. I think now that I've thought about it, she's going to do just fine. And uh, no apologies to this ass who is putting blame on me for her being... No, my daughter makes her own judgments, her own choices. It's got nothing to do with me, people. 